pretty much wrapping up this DLC. But we'll drop a stream marker here, and for the YouTube crew, this is going to be Witcher 3, part 56. Damn. <laughs> Ugh. I have all of the gear I need. Justin, jewel encrusted Galigaskins, the latest break. <laughs> Yes, I should. If I only could, I truly would. A job this like a lady. You can always get a new one. <laughs> All right. Lots of sick people over here, I guess. There we go. Greetings, Geralt. Show me your wares. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have like zero coin. <laughs> Oops. Well, I have the best gear possible, at least. So there's that. All right, so we got to deal with the Coronetta, or sorry, Coronata Vineyard issues. Come on, Roach. Come on. There you go. God, what a dumb horse. All right. So we're definitely going to knock out some of these... Some of these issues with the vineyard there's a couple other quests i want to take down as well part of the reason i'm not pushing near especially on wednesday nights is because i want to get through this game it'll free up our wednesday night slots for either a longer run or my very very large backlog of video games that we're going to have to deal with Ooh, oh jesus christ here we go Well, go somewhere else, Roach. Just saved my own life there. I'm um, likely to die here. I forgot how annoying these things are.
again. I should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. I hate archer spores. Yeah, dude, there's so much stuff on my backlog I need to take care of. Wow, back at it again. Alright, swap these out. <sighs> but yeah, sorry there's no big additional near PB here. Oop, I forgot one thing that I need to take care of. Just one little squiggly bit here. There we go. This is not a speed run. Even though it was at 1.100% routing, it's just not going to fucking happen these days. But yeah, we definitely got some stuff to, to clear out. And then I'd like to start really killing the backlog. I'm thinking probably like one more decent near PB and we're definitely going to go full-fledged on E. <laughs> I'd like to semi-retire from A ahead of Segoy. Dude, I fucking hate these things. I'm so tired of these enemies and their bullshit and just poison. Poison everything. Fucking bullshit. Annoying. Both of you fuck off. Dead. Just dead. <laughs> wow. Inclusive, Geralt. <laughs> Blow itself didn't kill him. Fled to death afterwards. Got here. No chance this letter wound up here by accident. Interesting. This note is what I found earlier. Some third parties causing problems at the vineyards. Need to find the spot the letter mentions. Then I'll find something mighty interesting. Oh, Jesus, that's really far away. Yeah, that's your best move, buddy. Oh, guess what? I cured your hiccups by removing your diaphragm.
I can't believe there's not a signpost like there. We'll just work our way through it. Whoa there, Roach. What's up? God damn it. Another one. Get out of here. We have restored the site. Absolutely, Anchorin. Just sneezing up a damn storm. All right, we'll fast travel to where we're looking to go. And then I guess we'll have to come back to the vineyard. Probably use a cat potion, but also at the same point. Some trousers. Are you going to pull out your fucking sword or what, dude? I don't know how many times I have to hit that button.
Not that bad at all. All right, I'll I'll burn a cat potion on it because apparently I didn't get the treasure. Ah, uh, where are you? Oh, I already have it equipped, idiot. There we go. Oops. Daryl, where are you going? I tell you what. Weird. Weird champ. Alright. Either way. Please let me on my horse. My horse is very stupid. Can't see shit because of this cat potion. It'll it'll wear off shortly. <laughs> Woo, that is bright. I'm collards. Oh man, we gotta go south from here. Good lord. Really, Roach? Gonna branch your way in from there. God damn it, Roach. Got gotta love the horse that has no idea what it's doing. 
how are our audio levels by chance? Seems seems like it's really soft. I can't see shit, so I'm just hoping Roach stays on the path. <laughs> Thankfully it's almost over. Doesn't doesn't seem too soft. For me it's not looking like it's very like audible at all. Cat potion should be wearing off shortly. We'll be able to see again. I apologize. I thought that cave would go on a little bit longer. There we go. Slower. Unlocked. Oh, look. We're back in the cellars again. Oh, good. Level 42. Get locked in the corner. I'm going to bump it just a little bit. Just a little bit so it's a little bit more even. Not too much. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be crazy. It'll be a little bit more dynamic, but Got them all. All right. Coronada. We're gonna check out what's over there. Come on now. And hit the fast travel back. That's why I like Liberty Mutual. All right.
right. Corner shot. God damn. That lady was not happy. the map go go and we at least found a new fast travel point it's always good Back up north to the Coronado Vineyard. May as well go from there at this point. Good lord. The hall and a half. One sec. Fix my chair. Grab Welcome. <laughs> Way to hook it up, Roach. Roach, what are you doing? Good lord. <laughs> All right, man locked in a cave. Got it.
I did it because I'm Gary Jerry of the River. I'd ventured north in search of herbs for a new flavored wine. When suddenly Calm down, it's over. The bung diddlers kidnapped me. In hopes of the bung diddlers. I'm sure. But with Master Liam's troubles, he never could have paid them. Ah, but I'm free and safe. Lead the way. Oh, oops. Here oh, well. We are. One second. Show me what you got. Master Liam doesn't seem a diligent proprietor. He tries as best he can. It's not his fault our vineyard suffered plague upon plague. Plagues? What kind? Well, the enormous yellow man-eating sun juice, for instance. You cannot set foot into the brush for fear of coming out a head shorter. Show me... All right. Oh, I can upgrade a potion. Well, that sucks. I probably should have tried to finish the cave stuff first. Oh, well. Well, there we go. There's the signpost I was looking for.
Whoa! You'll be fine, Roach. All right, I think we're done with this quest line. Faster. My answer is I think both of them suck and I should be at the vineyard. Master Witcher. One and the same man caused Coronada's and Vermentino's problems. Got proof. A certain Count Crespi. He's at the root of it all. What, Crespi? Belgard's erstwhile owner? Why, that's impossible. Got it all here, in writing. He did, indeed, have motive. He knew well his own vineyard could not survive if Vermentino and Coronata were to join forces. Probably why he incited the feud. Pulled it off, too, mostly. Just failed to bring his plan to completion when the beast got him. Incredible. You mean to say it... it wasn't Liam? I, I was certain my troubles were Matilda's doing. <clears throat> In light of new evidence, uh, the most just resolution would be for both injured parties to share oversight of Belgard. Wait just a minute. Yes, you Can should you cooperate. Cooperate? It's the optimal solution, yes. In terms of the health of the Enterprise as well. Hmm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do believe he's right. Yay, all's well that ends well. 
three vineyards are more than one. There's much to be gained. So be it. That's not all. The troubles at your vineyards, solve them. You can go back to operating normally now. Splendid news. I'm relieved to see you hired a professional, especially one whose aid might still prove invaluable. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Follow me. It's high time you saw Belgard. Witcher, come with us, please. Something tells me we'll have tasks for you yet. Oh boy. All right, let's go. <clears throat> My desire for Belgard to pass into capable hands was no idle whim, for the vineyard's fallen upon hard times since its previous owner's demise. I've been told of workers dying on their rounds, monsters prowling about. Before anyone can call this home, they will have to deal with these uh, inconveniences. That is the minister's wish. More work for me, I guess. If <laughs> you're willing, we'll gladly accept your help. I can help, sure. Fine. We have oh, a deal. okay. More or less already agreed, I guess. Oh, that's a weight off my chest, I must say. Your reward shall be fair, I promise. I'll get to work. Yeah, thanks for the 800 fucking crowns. You, hey, with the blades on your back. Help us. Look, monsters all about. The Andrega don't like fire. Yeah, do. Nice. No more Andrega problem. <laughs> Fucking sliced a bird out of midair. Welcome. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. He tried. Outrunning a panther, dude. You know what? Fine. Jesus. Ow. These dudes rude as shit. Asshole. Again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Well, 
wasn't one of my problems, but I made it one. All money for the coffers in the end. Nice. I fucking hate centipedes. you little bitch. Ah, this entire DLC has just been the same few enemies over and over again. All right, let's knock these out. Let's go. I'm not sure, Both. I probably will wait for a bit. My backlog is literally absurd. Like, I'm talking like well over five to six hundred apps of backlog. Really? Bruh. Get out of here. It does look pretty cool, though. I'm not gonna lie. But I am rather growing tired of seeing companies just force their their devs into crunch you know also why is this winery huge as fuck
Bum, 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 bum. But nah, ironically, for how big this game is, I um, haven't really encountered that many bugs, which is really nice for a large open world game like this. It's the Glizzard Slizzard. Nice. Come on, Roach. What the fuck? Bro, you're not even close. If they have something like Roach in Cyberpunk, I hope it's a little bit more accurate. Because, man, is Roach dumb. One down, two to go. Two down, one to go. Clean. Nice and easy. Oh, calm down, buddy. Almost close. Alright, looks like it's a long ride out there. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad I, uh... Glad I stopped doing near tonight when I did. My wrist is definitely a little tender. Ow. Oh, look at Andor. The only complaint I have about this area so far is the some of the waypoints are very few and far between. Like, I guess my vineyards are all over the place here for Belgard. Oh, fine. They're fogless. This will be over quickly. Especially if I light them on fire. They tend to not like that very much. Ah, 
Nice. Well, that was actually very nice. Yeah, whenever we... Whenever I decide that I need to run back to, um... Novigrad, I'll have to change all my monies. I'm probably sitting on at least a thousand. Ah, the woven gear. Yeah, I don't really need that, to be honest. We might just skip those. I like dismembering people from the horse. I don't generally fight on the horse. Come on now. Good job, Roach. loot laying around for that. Welcome back. You haven't missed much. I, uh, I figured out the whole, uh, vineyard issue. And I've cleared the third one now. I just gotta make it back to the For the quest makers. I'll probably take these idiots out real quick. Dear. Ah, hilarious. That dude just split into multiple pieces. I have disarmed that gentleman. Do you want to jam any more shit in that chest? Good lord. Alright, so I have a mutagen translator. Very nice.
but oh well maybe near pb tomorrow don't forget friday we are probably not streaming at all if we are it will be very very late in the day i'll probably just be something casual probably like genshin Come on, bro. Good lord, this game sometimes. Ugh. There's a blacksmith here? Dope. Place looks a lot nicer in the daytime. Tended to Belgard's problems. Vineyard should be in as good a shape as ever. Splendid. And thus, officially, by the power vested in me, I grant you title to the Belgard Vineyard and trust that you shall make good use of its grounds and resources. Excellent. Ah, I can already smell the grapes ripening into sun. We shan't forget what you did for us. Here, your pay. But that's not all. You must come back and see us shortly. We've a surprise in store for you. Hey, I got a thousand crowns. Farewell. Wait three days. All right. and then we'll push it forward. Easy peasy. Long live to Kessa Anna Henriette. I have come. Oh, Witcher, greetings. Kind of you to come. Matilda and I, we've a surprise for you. What's the surprise? Some new monster I need to kill? No, something <coughs> far more pleasant. Is it liquor and whores? According to the best liquor and whores. Throne, SF. We owe this success to you. So, if you'd agree, we'd like to name it after you. What shall we call it? Facebook notifications. White. Why not? No, that White one's Facebook. eBay is the. It fits perfectly. If you wouldn't mind, we'd like to send a few. I'd be honored. No, we. That's great. I don't have a home yet, guys. <laughs> I guess I should probably knock out like the <laughs> the actual main quest here, huh? The debt I owe, I can never. First, you reap. Me from the hunter's clutches. No. What were you doing? Ever since great a rational man. Rational lord. Can you crack? The merchant does not have enough monies. Liquor and whores, liquor and whores.
All right. Well, I've run that dude out of money. See ya. I assume I'm just I'm going to have to knock out the main quest so I can get this whole house thing sorted. Like a pitchfork in a dung pile. Hoping I get the vineyard, but I guess not. All right, this is like the second quest we got from the main line story, so. Come on, Roach. As far as I know, I do not have a house yet. Nor do I probably have the money to buy one at this point. Come on now. Come on. Looks like we're going to have to do some big killing here. Okay, that's not an answer. You are wrong. All right, I'll kill you then. I've got my glasses of anti fuckery on. I cannot let you leave. with that bleed damage, huh? Yes, Andor, Mau Mau. Of a Mau Mau. Yeah, <laughs> you did. Say hi. Quarter just as I thought. Made a uh, I need time. a beverage. Had Quick, swollen, hear me. Something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. A pouch bulging with coins. Elf guardian Florence from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, 
means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. Let's take a look at the chest. Was chopped up after death. Sorry, I really had to pee. Great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. The creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. No okay. that did this. Third hand. Despair. Except it's clear. How is this possible? Still warm. Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to the... Examine the tissue more closely later. It's gonna take this spare hand with me. So, but then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? Now, how it shoved down the victim's throat. Lots of questions, no answers so far. The Beast of Toussaint. Uh, liquor and whores. Whores. Now, I really don't care that much, Facebook. Palmer was dunking on some dude and I couldn't help myself because it was like really fucking ridiculous. Nah, dude, just people thinking they understand how stonks work. Need to speak to the Duchess urgently. All right, you scamps. Store is done. Go find your parents. But the Pomerine, what about the story of Ritik and the dragon? Uh oh, Baba, here we go. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia. The master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Master Richard, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? Uh, Japan plans to lift the ban on foreign tourists on a trial basis from April 2021st. Uh, foreign tourists who wish to visit Japan will be required to download the health management app and it will be obligatory to obtain a pre-departure coronavirus negative test certificate. Before we go. Yeah, we just have to find a place that can do testing. Not always. Could go either way. Sometimes virtue wins, sometimes villainy gets the upper hand. Still worth being good. But why? If it doesn't mean you'll win. Palmer and Story, think back. 
A decent man attracts other good folk, makes friends he can count on. A rogue? Well, he can only count on other rogues. And who would you rather have for a friend? A man of virtue? I must agree. Now, that will do for questions. Go find your parents. Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. Wow, oh, that's impressive. But that doesn't help. Elf guardian gladiators. Close, but not quite. As we will soon see. Someone's gonna fight a Shalemar and hang some bells on its tail to confuse it, slow it down. Whatever is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. Alright, I'm just trying to. Shouldn't torment the beast. How would you like to be dumped in an arena, blindfolded with a stream of bells dangling from your ass? It's the monster. You, a witcher. I slay monsters who are a threat to humans. You're out to humiliate one to entertain a crowd. Alright, so we'll have to get tested like a few days before we leave. Yeah, exactly, Brighton. We got a massive prologue PB, gold split, and the best the best run I had died to a menuing error, so I'm gonna try and stay on top of it tomorrow. We might push Witcher a little hard. Uh, I might be able to see if Roy can help us with notes and updating them, uh, if he's available. For 7R. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was good execution. Very good execution. I had a 14-15 prologue, which is honestly within 10 to 15 seconds of, like, very good. 15 seconds, obviously, a 14 flat, dude. Anything under a 14 is absurdly fast. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. Fuck is that thing? He gonna die now. Damn it. Squish. We have to help him. All right, I guess we'll help. the Baron die. Fuck is it doing? Uh, bro, what are you doing, Palmer and De La Fon? Die, please, please. 
Leave him alone. He can't die. Please stop. 32. 32 whole gigabytes. Oh, Marin, you're gonna fucking die. Get out of there. Back away. Uh, all right, let's try it again. Hopefully without this idiot dying. Uh, I want to say like 140, 150 probably. Bleh. Yeah, dude, 64 next to ne next never. Alright, well get out of the way, you big idiot. This is a very tough fight. <laughs> Leave the Baron alone. Oh, thank God he didn't die. Ah, miracle. I have, I just don't want him to die. <laughs> Yeah, I just got my booty hole slammed shut. Well, I'm glad we picked me, but Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed. Hopefully we can figure out where to get. 
Get tested up. Threat. No need to kill it. A victor may always show mercy. It is his right. Long live Garrett the Merciful. Pikeman, seat of the beast. Yeah. I'll have to do it. That's like the best news I've heard all year. Yeah, those glasses are free as fuck, dude. Guillaume. The lads came down to close to buy it. I'm fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? A smile as befits a hero and keeps silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. Geralt. Yeah, I'll have to. We'll have to do it like a, a couple days before we leave. You shall talk later in the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop, for we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival, had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance, so spectacular. Your Grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But whatever could he be? Come, we must find him. I not sure why the other blonde chick was like just giving me the fucking stare down. Tell us, have you come alone, or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace. Yes, I mean no. Ha <laughs> ha. But solely to tell him we regret, yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. <laughs> Fucking if dandelion. Time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. Ah, the very man we would entrust with these tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Your Grace, Witcher. Greetings. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place. That's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir De La Tour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've All right. heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. All right, well, I thought you were cool. Turns out you're a dick. ...of the witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it, nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Are the legends true? Do witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise, it's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards, both. I fear you'd not have much. Wow, that was a funny allegory. Likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco. Oh, now I have a house! Hooray! You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, 
will be yours only once you have That's seen fine. I've coined enough for now. A lovely, generous gesture, your grace. But Corvobianco, isn't it the duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The chancellery has bungled things again, we fear. Not Witchers the are special. Yet, Definitely not a mass murderer, but I right the wrong. What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. How did it start? Who was the first victim? Crispy was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to wine. This dude is so mad his fucking hair's fallen out. He is balding as fuck. Thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. Uh. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city, there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Lack's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned cut purses criminals fear the beast telling in a way take it you've excluded the possibility that ramon died at the hands of these bandits do you believe me an amateur not hands but claws an amateur all right Ooh, calm down frenchy body was found in the gutter. god damn they win one formula one race and all of a sudden they get all uppity and his sword replaced by a bed warmer ramon de lac a knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Yeah, dude. So mad sus. To to I still ridiculous. haven't even gotten to it. Revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld, but no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. So, the first Andor. two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times knights face new Under why you walk like goofy enterprise being the latest addition to the I don't know he's freaking out about something Not sure what but... even nicknamed him Sir found a coin pouch on his body contained florins dating from various times hailing from different provinces of the empire Delacroix loved coin true but had no patience for numismatics Lots of similarities between the victims. All nice, Bug Bug. Good job. Places, under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. Under one, she's These are honorable and... men. We are horrified by the disdain. A rift S. Oh, the Oculus? These were knights of Toussaint. Don't those require, like, a Facebook login now? Something like that? I don't know. I, I have no room or real interest for VR because I am. All the murdered men the lame. Knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. Ugh. And even if the Knights of Toussaint swear fealty to what really? virtues exactly? That'd be kind of handy. Wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Beast seems to be pointing up more decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack yeah. of chivalric virtues. I, I've given up on staying current with technology, though, dude. It, it, you're always going to be behind. Ridicule. Generosity by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit, true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. 
Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At the moment, all of the knights are either at the tourney grounds or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunts shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Down by the river? To me, something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren. Crespi, Delacroix, and Delac. All right, can I speed run near Automata now? Years ago, but... Your Grace, we need to find uh, it, It's so rough. I'm actually, like, really excited to run the game again, even though it's going to take a very strong effort to BB. disguised as the hare, hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. But realistically, any PB I get will be over three seconds, so... We must call off the game at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Yep, and then we'll start hammering E. And you, Witcher, follow me. Because My the thing is, I have to unlearn us. some of A to learn E. Murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses? Ready our horses. Your grace. <sighs> Geralt, please. What the hell? Why I should... Your Highness, I... Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. All right! Hey! That is silk! Be careful! Give it to me! Yeah, dude, that was a monster and a half. I really wish I could have kept the run I had going earlier going, but I, I fucked the menu up so bad. There's no way I could have survived. Well, maybe, but I doubt it. Like, it would have been so improbable, and I would have lost all the time I had saved. I have no idea what Mario 35 is. <clears throat> Yo, why is she so fast? It's here, just round the corner. Hurry. We must go to where the game is being held. Yo, why she got such a donk? A golden fish and a phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hair, milk hides. Well, Anna can't be the imposter because that dump truck ass ain't fitting in no vents. Oh, that sounds terrifying. I'm also really, really, really fucking bad at platformers. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. Well, I nap the phoenix. All right, I need to grab the horn and a fish. That will be quickest. <laughs> the unicorn. How do I? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its. It runs around over there. Look. Golden fish. Please, Geralt. Look there, towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply. The golden fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have, all clear. <laughs> Oops. Uh, well, I guess that's a good start.
I uh, didn't think that it was that deep of a uh, steep of a fall there. I I tried to get going super quick, a little bit too quickly. some sweets we would not be in this predicament dear sister were you still a virgin do you really wish to have this conversation again here and now hush or you'll spook the beast yeah i've never i've i've Any played folks, smb one sorry who's that Yeah, I've played a little bit. Perhaps we should try to go oh, to game's not likely to tempt a unicorn. Those apples are though. Crispy apple. Should like that like any other damn horse. Yeah, why are my glasses off? What the fuck? What the hell is going on here? I don't even remember where my glasses are either. Yes. Maybe we'll be able to use them this year. Doubtful. Yo, where are my bitch ass glasses, bro? Oh, uh, it's because I have the apple. <laughs> it's okay, I'm old too. An apple. Yum yum. Yum yum. Why can't I wear my glasses? Dude, I miss my glasses. <laughs> oh well, I'll figure it out later. Maybe it's just this quest. Toffee. I love a toffee. That's candy.
Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. King Cormorant Sire accepts this offering we bring. Prithi cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift fitting tribute. <laughs> a key. You're so <laughs> Dude, what an asshole. That <laughs> lady's crying and shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking Geralt. What a piece of shit. Fuck out of here. Punch a peacock. Ah, oh, man, this game sometimes. I swear. Man, are you never me? We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Geralt! At last. Got a key and a clue. And I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Mice and cheese. Palace pantry, maybe? No. The hair is obliged. Look, if we take growth, hollow it out and fill it with hair. Hmm. Pretty clever. There are several greenhouses in the gardens, but only one with a door that locks. And the key to it. All right, let's get to it. God damn, this dude's fast. Mom spaghetti. did but you may keep it i've a new one i do not know you i've done you no harm yeah but Get you're killing a lot of people Ruxa, who is dear to yeah me. now you pursue me why you've killed four innocent people at least oh the rubber band boys uh, uh, i have no idea where they'd down. be do we need to go get some Yeah. Murderers, though. What's going on, Bratton? I'll soon be done. I've but one left, and you, should you not stand down. And once you're done, intend to leave, go kill somewhere else. 
Oh, nice, dude. Big moves. Big moves. I did pretty good in Genshin today. I'll try again tomorrow. And hopefully we can get PB tomorrow. What is this, like a orc vampire thing? There we go. get stun locked you are to stay where you are regenerate I know you're in trouble I can help what the hell I'll help myself no he's my friend oh yeah you know walking away from that one god damn it vork or orc fire it's me Regis? I, you all right? All is well. All's in order. <coughs> Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Harvey Peak for, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. Aww. No, Geralt, bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. <laughs> Local serial killer seems to obey you. Maybe you could talk him out of it, convince him to stop murdering. That would be nice. Why do you think I've come? It shall not be easy, as death laugh can be rather stubborn. Though you must certainly recall that neither do I surrender readily. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though death laugh is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. I haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand, Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. All right. So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Uh, true. Remember the year 964? <sighs> that 
was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost two hundred, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus... Huh, legend okay. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed the lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism. <laughs> the thoughts melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Oh, much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. But I'm not a human, I'm a witcher. Overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more and all Beau Claire is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Nice to track me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd make shift quarters at Mer Lachey's Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. See you, bro. Huh. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. <clears throat> Sirs, we must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Okay, but can I go to my house now? I guess I can go to my house. That's how to find a fast travel point. Yahoo! Alright, let's go check out our house. Suppose I could see oh the Ducal camera lingo on the way out as well. Or at least on the way over. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to start climbing like in Genshin. <laughs> Keep calm. Start no probes. Greetings. I've heard reports of feats of. Alright, I'm gonna whip this dude in some Gwent real quick.
Oof, no more spies. Ugly. Please throw me another spy. Wow, that's how you're gonna do it? All right, whatever. I'll let him win. <clears throat> At least they wasted a Scorch early. That's fine, waste your 10 cards. a little behind the eight ball here. Getting a little out of hand over there. Three huggy boys. Gonna be at a disadvantage here. Three card advantage, I just have to use it to the max. Take the win. Nice. Perfect, that's what I was looking for. This should be a pretty easy win. <laughs> I don't think I have any spies left. Yeah, that would make it too easy for him. I'll just do this. Oh man, that sucks. He could have had like nine. Huggy boys to the rescue. Bingo, bango, boom. <laughs> All right, we got 10 minutes left after I've taken this guy for his money. Why is my hood up? some sort of weird visual bug. I missed my glasses, dude. I look pimp as shit in my glasses. Alright. Let's get the hell out of town.
go to our house. Apparently, I have a house now. Welcome home, sir. I am Yo, he stole my glasses. By order of the Duchess. <laughs> I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who as Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Who oh, that? In that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I, I mean, yeah, if you can make me money, that'd be really cool. Prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell. He went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman. A truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. <laughs> what you doing? He was Bob actually a Headsman. Here. No, not him, but his great, 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 yeah. great. It probably will be very wavy. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common purse <laughs> who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beaufort. Big... Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off heads, <laughs> and there are grapevines in the ducal grounds. <laughs> he never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched the job. <laughs> For his exemplary I mean, you service, do you. the Duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he said, Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his set. Shame, that. Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which to invite friends from... Mind giving not in the least. All right, we'll take a tour of the vineyard. Oh, pretty interesting. We have an entire ass house and a vineyard now. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. That's pretty cool. Hello, Andor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me. Been a major domo all your life. Yes, I come from a long line of major. Hey, get off my shirt. My father was a major domo. As was my grandfather before him. As was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. She was a hard woman. The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the ducal treasury. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. All right. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Olive trees Don't smell nice. Now either. <laughs> Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry wild cherry plum and cinnamon notes marvelous 
Have to try it one of these days. Ah. Nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. And There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius ball for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains. <laughs> all right. Wisdoms of Lebioda. <coughs> How much more is there to show me, bro? Monsieur Bolius, his wife Nina, kept a garden here. Well, we can get the garden back up and make the the living quarters for the servants much better. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory, and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. So I can have my own alchemy garden. Awesome. Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say that well, this place looks like a shithole, but you know, got a lot of work. But I got a lot of money, I guess. Why are you staring at me like that, bro? It's creepy. It's trying to kiss me. There's Roach. This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful. All right, come on, dude. Hmm. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Nothing. <laughs> I'm just imagining the cat with braided hair. You'd be so miserable. <laughs> Andor, you can't use those gift Says, cards. Voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rosa used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of. <laughs> Apparently, I have a figure I can put there. I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. I like that his name is Barnabas Basil. A <laughs> Barnabas Basil. Cat meth, no doubt. As you can see, the facade <laughs> is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it. A certain subtle, subtle okay, how much money do I need to make this look could use good? A bit of subtle paint. Andor, get off my nightstand. Get off. Papa. Thank you. Follow me, please. I'm just gonna finish up the tour of the house. And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Yeah, that's understandable. I'm tired too. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will together devise some. If that, sir, you've seen the full lay. If. Forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum, I think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any rem. Mention the almost decidedly, sir. Got these spacious grounds. Oh, yes. Admiral Rom. Good. 
Immediately, sir. Will you be meeting? In of course. Then send. Of course. Will you be meeting? Been thinking about. If I might. Hmm. I understand, of course. That's all. BB. <laughs> Alright, apparently I need to sell off a bunch of shit before I can finish renovating the house. Okay. Toby's gonna go mess with her hair. I'm gonna go sneak off and sell some stuff, and we're gonna stay up a little late. <laughs> I gotta saw all my swords and stuff. Now oh, the bank's still locked. Well, I know the Grandmaster. Uh oh. I didn't even punch anybody though. It was an accident. Another murder by the horrid beast. Milton the Payrak Payran falls victim to Greet. All right, time to sell some shit. Hey, there are my glasses. I can put them back on. All right, looks like I have some money. Really got to sell some of my alchemy stuff that I'm never going to use. No, just mine now. Oh, but he can't help it. He kind of stupid. Farewell. Good luck on the. There we go. Alright, let's go pay to restore the house. What's she doing, Baba? Well, there you go. I can learn how to do it. I don't know. I'm just staring. <laughs> I All right, where's Barnabas Basil? How might I be off service? Starting as you wish, sir. Didn't think if I might. Goodbye, money. Hands, then. I shall get highly skilled at all. Is there anything? No, what? I shall be glad. Ever play Gwent? Funny you should... uh, sounds in. Not at all, sir. Yeah, I will definitely play, to play with him. Not really. Hands too tired.
Not a terrible start. No decoy, though. Oh, man, he's got the poor fucking infantry. How's a war veteran? Spare me a crown? Oh, man, he's got, like, baby deck. He'll at least win the first round. Thirteen, easy win. Oh, <laughs> glad I got that plus one. <laughs> oh, sea life. Good old Kira, my shirt never stays on, Matt's. Huggy boys. Scorch myself to death. I congratulate you on your victory. Maybe the as you wish. Sir. Thanks. All right. We'll wait for three days. And everything should be done. Oh, whoa. Yo, this place is awesome. Renovations coming. Superbly, sir. General refurbishment has been completed. And I took the liberty in Arthur News, the laborers dusting out. I am all starting to as you wish sir. starting to get in what a split so well you're in love good idea Barnabas Basil herbs there will the idea is yours sir I am but the humble executor will you be meeting a you know, wow this this is a fucking money pit but a bonus to stamina will be nice. Alright, it is time, however, to call it a night here. Ah, uh, I see what I did. Look at that. Not bad at all. All this food and I can't eat it. Get it, Babas? Jesus Christ, these are all the 
books that I've read. Holy shit. Well, that broke it. Can't hang any trophies, can't hang any paintings. Alright, well, I'm going to have to drum up a lot of money, but we are going to call it a night here. Thank you super, super much for hanging out with us. I appreciate the love on the Nier Automata and the people hanging out, even uh, even if y'all just lurking. Super, super appreciated. Get y'all selves some rest, and I shall see you all <coughs> tomorrow. Near Automata, Final Fantasy VII R notes, uh, maybe some Genshin, who the hell knows, but we'll definitely see you for Ring Fit in the afternoon. Alright, go yell at Rico. He's playing Subnautica. And uh, we will see you all tomorrow. Thank you once again. Take care.